Hey guys, Liam here again. I've got a short update for you on the installing Epic Games in Steam on the Steam Deck guide. Because some of you had noticed, it does actually stop working. There's a simple reason for that though that I'm going to show you now. At some point when the Epic Game Store updates, it will add a Win64 folder and the original guide uses the Win32 folder. So you can just go in and check that actually exists to see if that is your issue. So we can show the hidden files, go into the Steam folder, Steam apps, compact data, and just find where it was installed. And if you do see the Win64 folder, all you have to do is edit your shortcut inside of Steam to have Win64 in both lines instead of Win32. That will fix it. It launches now every time for me again as well. The other issue is that out of the box, it cannot access your SD card because Proton is basically run everything inside a container. But there's a workaround for this as well. If you scroll down in the Dolphin File Manager to removable devices where it says primary and then go up to the top and click where the address is, you can then copy it. What we're going to do is we're going to then go into the properties of your Epic Games Launcher in Steam. Scroll down a bit, and where it says Launch Options, you need to put in, in capitals, Steam underscore compact underscore mounts equals, and then just paste the address in, put a space and put percent, command percent, and it just basically tells it, this folder exists, you can use it. And then I'll show you actually going to install something to your SD card inside the Epic Games Launcher running from inside of Steam. When you go to install a game, you have to go into desktop, my computer, and then for me, it comes up as E. It might come up as something else for you. If it complains about the directory not being empty, just add in a new folder name and it will install it happily. So I hope that helps you and have a great day.